I, I wish this frickin' destroyer here would be doing something to help help save our station. Um, but it's not. It looks like it's running away. Leave my station alone, you bastards. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to uh, switch things up a little bit and uh, do some administration empire building things. Uh, I've been doing a lot of combat lately, both in the last couple of episodes and also off camera. Uh, I am pleased to announce, however, that we are now um, at level 20 with Zyarth. Uh, the Zyarth Patriarchy, and I did record a little bit of the footage of that, including another K kill. So here's uh, some of that footage right now. Split are happy with your continued loyalty and honor. Split again, thank you for your efforts. Our future remains strong. Split wish you fortune. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to expand our main base and, like I said, just kind of do some empire building. Uh, it was suggested to me by at least one of you guys that I consider at least doing the first part of the Boron campaign so that it opens up the Boron to us, and I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, I have not done anything at all mission-wise or even with the main storyline of the base game, and I it is my intention to do that. Um, I just, you know, <laughs> just haven't gotten to it yet there. You know, if you guys are familiar with this game, there's just so much to do and a playthrough, depending upon, you know, how m many aspects of the game you decide to do. And I, I kind of want to have my hands in all of it to some extent. Uh, you know, it can take a very long time, which is not a bad thing at all. Um, it just means there's a lot of good stuff, uh, good content in this game. OK, so let's look at a couple of things here. Um, first of all, we are... Uh, let's go to our, our two factories. And um, so it looks like we currently have 838,000 in our solar power plant in Argon Prime. Um, and we have um, 11.3 million in our, our headquarters. Uh, so let's accept all estimates there and confirm. And that brings our own wallet up to 112.6 million. And we currently have a net worth of 147.1 uh, million. Um, I did purchase another fleet of Nodan Sentinels and sent those over to Argon Prime to guard our solar power plant. Um, Argon Prime is is not doing too well. Um, in fact, <clears throat> I think the Argon as a race don't seem to be doing very well. Um, this wharf, although it shows that it's completely restored, it's not. And if we, if we take a live stream view of it, it's still screwed up <laughs> and I can't use it. I can't dock at it because, you know, there's no place to dock. Um, and you know, so that's, that's troublesome because, you know, we can't use it to repair, resupply, that sort of thing. And we also can't dock there to talk to the faction representative should we need to do so. And keep in mind, you know, multiple hours have, uh, real-time hours have gone by in-game since, 
you know, since the attack on this wharf, and it does not look like they're rebuilding it. So I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Um, but yeah, it kind of sucks uh, to be frank, but it is what it is. All right, so let's see here. We're going to uh, let's go back into this menu. As far as my fleets and so forth, uh, like I said, I've got this uh, Nodan Sentinel group uh, protecting the plant in Argon Prime. <coughs> Excuse me. We have uh, currently we have both the Cerberus group and the Nemesis group um, just protecting Reaver Industries for the moment. Um, I should probably send the Nemesis group out on patrol um, somewhere, but I, I, you know, I was with them for a long time, and I, you know, we just all kind of flew back to the headquarters, and then I teleported over. Um, so anyway, they're all just kind of flying around here patrolling at the moment. So we'll we'll put them uh, to work later. But our focus, like I said, in this episode is not going to be so much on combat as it is going to be on uh, starting to increase our our empire. Um, so let's take a look at uh, Reaver Industries headquarters here. I'm going to go to the logical overview. Um, you know, you guys have, have all left me some really good comments, too, and I appreciate the comments. Um, some things that have been suggested I just haven't gotten to yet, so just kind of bear that in mind if you're if you're thinking, well, I, I left him that comment. It doesn't look like he's doing anything about it. Well, that either means I just haven't gotten to it yet or I haven't decided if I agree with you <laughs> uh, uh, or if I have other priorities. So just kind of keep that in mind, but I am reading everybody's comments. I do appreciate everybody's comments, and I try – to respond to everybody's comments. You guys rock. Thank you very much uh, for doing that. Uh, okay, so if, you re if you've been watching the series all along, I did mention several episodes ago that kind of our, you know, short to midterm goal for this station is to have it produce uh, claytronics. So it's already producing hull parts. It already produces energy cells, and claytronics is needed, uh, you know, for building. So those are the three main components that you need to build new station modules because eventually... It's my hope that we have, you know, multiple stations or at least, you know, a few, you know, big mega complexes. And I want to be able to produce those parts um, independently of, you know, relying upon somebody else. However, Claytronics um, is a pretty big uh, or advanced, I guess I should say, um, a component or I mean, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Commodity. Uh, so if we go to, to the encyclopedia and we look at... Uh, station modules and production modules and claytronics. Um, we're going to need antimatter cells and microchips and quantum tubes. So we still need those three things in order to actually start producing um, claytronics. So um, microchips would probably be a good next step for us because of the fact that um, we already we're already producing silicon wafers, and I think it only requires silicon wafers and uh, energy cells. It doesn't look like I have the blueprint for that, um, which is again a problem because I can't I can't go to the faction representative and purchase the blueprint. Yeah, that really sucks. I wonder if I could purchase that from Antigone, because I you know I want I want to get the Argon version of it just because I like the Argon style, and it's an Argon um, station. Um, and it doesn't look like I have the blueprint for quantum tubes or antimatter cells either. So we're going to, I guess, our first order of business then. Yeah. Oh, no, we do have. Okay, we do have quantum tube. Um, yeah, but I don't have antimatter, and I don't have electronics. So we could... We could do this. We're going to need superfluid coolant, though. And once again, I don't have superfluid either. You know what? I'm going to <laughs> I need to write this stuff down. I'll never remember it. Um, I don't have the best memory in the world. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so we are going to need superfluid. These are the blueprints. And superfluid itself um, requires energy cells and helium. Okay, so helium we we can definitely get 
uh, through a gas miner, so we don't need another blueprint for superfluid. Let's go back to here. Um, so we were looking at quantum tubes, and then we need the blueprint for inter, uh, microchips. And for antimatter cells, and then let's look and see if those require anything special. Okay, antimatter is just hydrogen and energy cells, and um, microchips is just silicon wafers and energy cells. Okay, so I think. The, it, as long as we can get a superfluid blueprint, a microchip blueprint, and an antimatter blueprint for the for the production modules, then we should be able to work our way up to manufacturing claytronics, which is our which is kind of the the ultimate goal. Uh, well, I, again, kind of the short to midterm goal for this particular station, uh, which will then help support our empire as time goes on. Okay, so the next question is, where are we going to find? an argon faction representative with our currently known space i think probably our only option um and hopefully this place is still here because i don't have any live satellites in antigone i haven't been there in a long time um, hopefully that individual is still there and can sell us the blueprints that we need because here again we cannot um yeah see the xenon are just pounding the crap out of what are you doing why is that guy going there Oh, well, it looks like he's docking at a build storage for a new building. All right, just stay away from those bad guys, dude. Um, anyway, yeah, the Xenon are just pounding the Argon. And also, just FYI, if we look at our messages, uh, Zyarth has declared war on Argon. I'm not going to participate in that, though. But <laughs> Argon's just having a bad time. In, in my playthrough, it, it seems. Now, I'm, I'm sure they have other sectors somewhere else, and maybe they're thriving in those other sectors, but in, in their capital sector, they certainly are not. They're, uh, they're not doing too well. So um, nothing, is, to my knowledge, has molested our, our solar power plant yet. Um, if the a K ever decided to go there, I don't think my, my t tin uh, fighter squadron would probably be able to save it um, but it's just where we are right now so hopefully that doesn't happen okay so anyway i think okay there's also a hatikva representative here and they are they should be also be able to give us argon blueprints i think all right well in that case oh i was going to tell you guys one other thing i don't know i might have recorded this as a clip i can't remember but i did change the weapons out on my my nemesis so if we go here uh, so i put two thermal disintegrators and three neutron gatling guns on it and then took it out for a spin killed it, popped a couple xenon and uh the reason i'm trying the, the thermal disintegrators is because one of you guys told me in the comments that these are actually really good for taking down surface elements uh, on the case. So I figured I'd give that a try. I've also been told by a couple of different people that beam weapons are good for that. And the Pyranid have um, a special type of beam weapon. Uh, the name of it escapes me at the moment. It's like a burst beam or something that's really, really good for taking out surface elements, but it, it kind of sucks against everything else. So my thought is that I might have a dedicated heavy fighter and i haven't decided what type of fighter it would be um and i would put those those uh, burst beam weapons on it and then just have that docked on a frigate and then when you know whenever we take on a, a k or something i would jump into the heavy fighter and go you know take out the surface elements on the k uh, kind of idea but if these thermal disintegrators, uh, or you know, later on if I decide to try beams instead, uh, do a reasonably good job of doing that, then you know that that might be a good solution for us. I've also been looking at um, some split ships. I have a, a loadout for a rattlesnake, 
uh, which would be our first um, destroyer. Uh, but I, I don't want to, I'm not going to make any of those decisions yet. Uh, we'll, we'll get back into that stuff later. Anyway, that was a little bit of a side, side, uh, note there. Uh, so I guess what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to call my, my Pegasus over to me, which is currently just kind of uncovering more space here in Nopilios' fortune too, which there really isn't much there. It's just a big, ginormous open place with lots of, um, minerals. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Pegasus Vanguard back to us or back to me specifically, and then I'll jump in the Peggy and run over to Hatikva's Choice first, and hopefully we can get the blueprints there. If not, then we'll have to go try Antigone. Um, so I will bring you guys back, uh, or I'll probably just meet you over at Hatikva's Choice, uh, and we'll talk to this faction representative. So I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, guys, uh, we just got a message. Entering system. Silent witness. That, um... One of my Nodans in Argon Prime got destroyed by a K, which means that that K is probably attacking our station. So, um, I don't know if we can get over there in time with these two forces or not, but let's, um, Let's try it and see what happens. I'm just going to put them on attack and then we'll rendezvous with them um, in the Peg Pegasus. Yeah, we just lost another Sentinel. Yeah, that is, that's the first time that um, we've had an attack on that station. But I'm not surprised, though, because the Argon's just doing a piss-poor job of keeping their capital sector secure. It is not a safe sector any longer. We're probably going to lose lose all those Nodans or most of them. But if they can at least keep the rest of the fleet busy before they get to our factory, uh, we can probably intervene and take them out. There goes another one. Damn it, Jim. We might have to pull out of Argon Prime. Um, I mean, if you think about it too, there's not there's not really a whole lot of reason to be there anymore, anyways. Especially if we can't use the wharf anymore. Entering system, Atikva's choice. The other thing that occurred to me, too, is that we don't really have rep with Hatikva or Antigone to speak of, so... Well, no, we do with Antigone, um, actually. So I don't know how that will limit us with the blueprints that we're seeking to get. Um, where's the docking at? Docking granted. Oh, right up here. Okay. Over this way. Successfully docked. Okay, let's undock. Or, no, not undock. I always do that. <laughs> Shoot. There we go. Okay, let's go talk to the f faction rep and see if we can get the blueprints from them. I don't know if we can or not because I don't have any particular rep to speak of. I haven't done it. I haven't done anything deliberately to get rep with them, put it that way. So let's just see. Like to buy a bio blueprint modules. Nope, they're not going to give it anything to us because we don't have any reputation with them. All right. Um that means we're going to have to go to Antigone Goodbye. Memorial. Um if we look at this yeah we have plus 13 rep with Antigone so I, I'm assuming we can get um, those blueprints from them okay well um, I will meet you guys in Argon Prime and we'll deal with the Xenon threat first 
and then we'll have to head over to Antigone Memorial. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys. Um, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be able to save this power plant. It's gonna go down before our fleet can get to us, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the Nemesis fleet um, coming over here so we can at least get revenge. Um, and I'm gonna park the the Peggy at the shipyard. I, I wish this frickin' destroyer Peggy here Vanguard. would be doing something to help help save our station. Um, but it's not. It looks like it's running away. Leave my station alone, you bastards. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll dock the Peggy at the shipyard. And then when the Nemesis enters the system, I'll jump into it. And we'll at least get revenge for what these guys are doing to us. Okay, um, let's see what's going on here. Successfully docked. Oh yeah, that station's gone. <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay, well, you know, it's all right. I like I indicated earlier, we don't really have a reason to be in Argon Prime anymore. It's it's just not it's not like it used to be. It's in kind of rough shape. All right, I'm going to change things up here. Um, we'll let the Nemesis fleet continue coming over, but I think I'm going to send the Cerberus back. Um, here, let's say remove all orders. I'm just going to send it back to keep guarding this station, but I might borrow its fighters. Um, you can keep the Falcon with you, but I'll, I'm going to take all of these guys, remove all orders and assignments, and I want you to join Nemesis 3, uh, just as more interceptors for now. Okay, so, yeah, our station's gone. So all we can do right now is just get Retribution and, you know, kill the, the K, which we will do. But I'm not going to try and rebuild this station again in Argon Prime. There's just, I don't see the point at this point. Uh, the original plan for it was to, you know, provide solar power to this um, sector because their other solar power plant got blown up by the Xenon. And it's made me a little bit of money, but not very much. Um, so it's not going to be a huge loss financially either in terms of, you know, it, it, what it was doing, making money for us. Now, we lost all the money that, you know, it took to build it and all that, but we'll recover. Not too worried about that. Okay, so when my fleet gets to Argon Prime, um, oh, you know what? I shouldn't have those guys on intercept. I need, I should have them just on follow. Okay, so let's um follow commander in beta and why the hell is he not on the highway oh you know why because he's got the fleet with him that's right he's got the fleet with him they don't take the highway i have no idea why i wish they would there's one of our traders there so yeah i'm, I'm just gonna sit tight and wait for all my fleet to get to argon prime and then when they get there We'll jump in and we'll take out this K. Uh, assuming they're, they're, it's even still in the system by then. It probably will be, but I don't know what they're thinking about doing at the moment. Uh, the other thing, too, is that I actually have um, some leveled up captains for all the combat that we've been doing. And we're going to see if, if we can pull some of those guys out and put them in traders and get some more advanced traders going. Because that's where we make the majority of our money anyways. Awaiting orders. Okay. I want to say that might mean the K just left this system. But let's bring the Nemesis over here anyways.
Got a little far ahead of my fighters there, but we're good. Took a little bit of hull damage. M. Nothing too major. Uh, I haven't spotted the K yet. Uh, let's move kind of back towards where our factory was. And see if it's still kind of over in that area, I guess. Yeah, there's our ruin station. That sucks. <laughs> um, I think that K is gone. And I think it probably left when the nemesis stopped following the attack command. So, yeah, it's no longer here. All right, well, we have no reason to be in Argon Prime anymore. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is let's just send the fleet back to our own station for now. And um, I'll just hop back into Peggy and then we'll continue uh, going to Antigone Memorial. Let's see, you guys are all on defense, so I'm going to set you all to intercept. Well, no, I want you to stay on follow, actually, until... Until he gets back. Okay, so... Select you. Protect until further notice, and they'll go guard Reaver Industries. Once they get back over there, then I'll set the fighters on intercept. And we will teleport back to our Peggy and continue our quest for some more blueprints. All right, I'm just going to Vanguard. The problem that I've run into with having the pilot drive in the ships that I'm in is that they spend too much time trying to dodge asteroids and stuff when they could just deftly move around them, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. And I don't have the patience for it. Okay, so we need to go to here, and let's hope and pray that this place is still here. <laughs> um, dark guidance to object. And let's go. Entering system, Antigone Memorial. Successfully docked. Okay, let's see what we have available here. All right, so we need an antimatter cell production. Uh, that's be that's going to be five hundred and seven. Thousand. We need a microchip and a uh, yeah microchip. Ooh, that's five point five million. Lordy, and a superfluid, which is only one eighty-five. Wait, do I? I don't own a quant I don't own a quantum tube production. Um Yeah, we need that. Why did I think I owned a quantum tube production? I don't know, but we need it. Cuz anything that we own um it already shows here. Yeah. Okay. And I think... You know, I'm almost wondering, though, if I should buy more of these while the buying's good. The Claytronics is 20.7 mil. Yowzers. But we need it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to buy that. For sure. 
Field coil is 12 million. We're going to need a food ration. Good luck out there. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to need a food ration because we're going to need those when we start building habitation modules, I believe. Plasma conductor production. Spice production. That might be required for food rations, I think. I mean, if we just if we just got all of the rest of these, well, first of all, can we even afford to get all the rest of these? Let's just see. Select. Oh, we can't get that right now because we we're gonna have to we're gonna have to probably farm some rep with these guys. But if we grab that, that, and that. And if you guys are wondering why is he doing that, well, it's because if what happens if this station gets blown up? You know what I'm saying? Then we're really shit out of luck until we can find some more argon sectors anyways. So that's going to cost us $49 million for all of that stuff. Um, I'm sure we're going to need all of it eventually. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea, though. That's a lot of money to spend on things that we don't really need right now. Um, yeah, good let's, luck out there. Let's cancel that. Uh, no, I don't want a license. Good luck out there. I just want to look at these one more time. Um, what might we need though? In in the short term, engine parts. I know that we've needed those to you know sometimes to buy ships uh, or to build ships. Those were. Uh, yeah, we need we need food ration production, and I'm pretty sure we need spice production too. Uh, shield component and scanning array. I've needed those for satellites, but again, it's kind of getting a little bit ahead ahead of ourselves, I think. Um, you know what? Let me confirm that we need Good spice. Pretty sure that we do. Let me confirm that. So if we go to where's... Well, no. Actually, yeah. Go to where's. And we go to food rations. Oh, yeah. They're going to need spices and wheat. Do we know wheat? Um, I think we bought wheat a while back. Let me look. I need to buy a blueprint. Modules. Production modules. Okay, so we want food ration production. And we want... We don't own wheat. Okay, so we want wheat and we want spice. And that will allow us to make our food rations. Okay, so with that, good luck out there. That should allow us to get up to claytronic production, make habitation modules, and be able to feed our population with food rations. Except if we need, for we need a habitation module. Uh, dang, those are expensive, man. I'm almost thinking we go with the medium. It's it's only, you know, about 4.9 million more than the small. And it's going to give us more people. Uh, so, yeah, let's buy that. I'm not going to worry about defense modules for now. We will get them eventually, but I'm just relying upon my fleets to protect the station for now. Uh, I think we're good on dock modules for now. I think we're good on that stuff for now um, we might want to consider 
Um, let's get a large liquid and large solid. Let's just buy them now so that way we have them. Okay. Confirm. Good luck out there. All right, that that drops us down to sixty one million, but I think that um, this guy, how much did, Hello there. does it cost to hire him? Well, no, Good let's not do there. that. We we've got quite a few potentially three star pilots already in our fleet from all the fighting, so I'm not going to pay for somebody else right now. All right, well that gets us that should get us what we need for the time being. Um, so let's get back into our ship Pegasus, Vanguard. and actually, no, I'm, I'm going to actually let him drive after all. Get up because we can start working on our station while he's flying us back home. So let's go to Pegasus Vanguard. And I want you to take me back home. Dock and wait. Can I help? Proceed with orders. 